Uh, another thing that comes to my mind is the whole business of pranks. They were a real struggle for us. <laughs> Peter, I'm glad there are no students here. <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how agitated I was. <laughs> Every Sunday I would go early as, as early as possible over to the chapel and unlock it to see whether all the pews had been turned around and the pulpit was up in the balcony. Uh, and in fact, every day when I was Carl's assistant, uh, we, I used to go over for 7.15 7 breakfast and I was so petrified that I'd find all the tables turned upside down. <laughs> or uh, all the cutlery buried somewhere on the playing field. <laughs> but the problem was that you had to you had to punish pranksters. I mean, and yet I really approved what they were doing. <laughs> I think I think pranks are a great benefit to a community. I mean, you don't play a prank on someone you hate. Uh, just as you uh, don't tease someone you hate, you tease people whom you love. And how could we punish these uh, pranksters while at the same time letting them know that we half approved of what they did? <laughs> so, uh, there we are. But, um, why is it and has always been a memory of people? I believe that is because there was a lot of love around, a lot of love. I like to define love as passion, uh, passion um, guided by principle, passion guided by principle. And as a matter of fact, that is not unlike uh, character before career. So, thank you, Lord God, for the love that was at Stony Brook School. Mm -hmm.